Operating a Toro Time Cutter Z is a unique experience. Versatile and highly maneuverable, the Time Cutter Z handles differently than a conventional riding mower. While a traditional tractor style mower uses the rear wheels for traction and the front wheels to steer, the Time Cutter Z's rear wheels operate independently to provide both traction and steering control. To familiarize yourself with this difference, practice driving the Time Cutter Z on a flat, grassy surface away from people and obstacles until you are comfortable with the mower's unique handling characteristics. To go straight forward, move the control levers inward to the neutral position. Then apply equal pressure to both levers. To turn, release pressure on the control lever toward the direction you want to turn. To move in reverse, slowly pull the control levers rearward. To turn in reverse, release the pressure on the lever toward the direction you want to turn. The farther you move the control levers in either direction, the faster the machine will move in that direction. To stop, move the control levers to the neutral position. Practice until you are confident in your ability to control the mower. It is important that you drive in the safety zone each and every time you operate the Time Cutter Z. Driving in the safety zone means making the choice to steer clear of high-risk situations and hazards, and choosing to use a walk-behind mower or a hand trimmer near drop-offs, water, or on hills with a slope greater than 15 degrees. The best way to begin learning about driving in the safety zone is by reading the operator's manual supplied with the mower. The manual includes detailed instructions on safety, operation, and maintenance. This video is not a substitute for a thorough reading of the manual. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with the safety decals on your mower. These decals indicate areas of potential danger and provide further instruction. Replace any decal that is damaged or lost. When operating the Time Cutter Z, Always wear safety glasses, substantial shoes or boots, and avoid any loose-fitting clothing or jewelry that could get caught in moving parts. Never operate the mower while under the influence of drugs or alcohol. Use extra care when handling gasoline. Gasoline is highly flammable and its vapors are explosive. Allow the engine to cool at least five minutes before refueling. Carefully read the section on refueling in the operator's manual. As with all mowers, never operate your Time Cutter Z around bystanders and never carry passengers. The Time Cutter Z is a single seat work vehicle. It is not a toy and is intended for mature operators only. Always look over the yard before mowing. Mark hazards and pick up any debris which could be thrown by the mower. The Time Cutter Z is equipped with a grass deflector. It is important to be aware of the mower discharge direction, making sure not to point it at traffic, housing, or anywhere it may injure someone. Never operate the mower without either the deflector, mulch cover, or a grass bagger in place. Only mow in well-lit conditions. Pay close attention to the direction you are driving, whether forward or in reverse, and watch for traffic when operating near or crossing roadways. For your protection, as well as the protection of any bystanders, the Time Cutter Z is equipped with a safety interlock system. Test the safety interlock system each time before you use the mower. If the safety system does not operate as described in the operator's manual, have an authorized service dealer repair the safety system immediately. The safety interlock system prevents the mower from starting unless the parking brake is engaged. The control levers are in the neutral lock position 
and the PTO is disengaged. On the Z-series of mowers, the parking brake is automatically set when the control levers are in the out position. On the ZX series, the parking brake is located separately. However, when starting the mower, the steering levers must still be out in the neutral lock position. To safely start the time cutter Z, sit properly in the seat. Make sure the control levers are in the neutral lock position. If you are on a ZX series mower, be sure the parking brake is set. Make sure the PTO is disengaged. If the engine is cold, move the throttle to the choke position. Turn the key fully clockwise to start the engine. Release the key when the engine starts and move the throttle to fast after the engine is running. To begin operation, Release the parking brake either by pulling the control levers together on Z-Series mowers or by releasing the parking brake lever on ZX-Series mowers before pulling the control levers together. Once again, it is important that you become familiar with and understand the Time Cutter Z's unique handling characteristics before you begin mowing. Because of the Time Cutter Z's tight turning radius, there is little or no reason to mow in reverse. However, if you do mow in reverse, always look behind you and down before backing up. Normally, instead of backing up, you will simply turn the time cutter Z around and begin cutting in the opposite direction. However, always look before turning to make sure you do not spin the mower into someone or something. The Toro Time Cutter Z is designed to be exceptionally safe and stable. However, wet grass and terrain such as slopes greater than 15 degrees, drop-offs, and water can create a loss of control and increase the danger of rollovers or tip-overs. Operation in wet or muddy conditions will also increase the chance of a loss of control. Always avoid these situations by giving yourself plenty of clearance and mowing in the safety zone as pictured in your manual. It's important that you stay off hills with a slope greater than 15 degrees. This is what 15 degrees looks like. Anything steeper than this is definitely not in the safety zone and can be dangerous. Operating on steep slopes can cause a loss of traction and steering control and lead to an accident. On a zero radius turn mower, any loss of traction equates to a loss of steering control. The slope angle at which the machine will lose traction is dependent upon many factors. Among these factors are mowing conditions such as wet or undulating turf, excessive speed and sudden speed changes, especially in turns, tire pressure, and weight and experience of the operator. Never, under any circumstance, operate your MZRT on a hill with a slope greater than 15 degrees. You must leave these areas to be hand trimmed. Even hills with a slope less than 15 degrees require that you maintain an attitude of safety. So, keep your movements steady and deliberate, and don't make sudden changes in speed or direction. If your tires lose traction, disengage the blades and proceed slowly off the hill. It's important to remember that any hill or slope should be avoided if they are near drop-offs or water. Whenever possible, you should start at the bottom of a slope and work your way upward. You will have better directional control when turning up the slope. Turning down the slope will reduce traction and increase the chance of loss of control. Use extreme care when using a grass bagger or other attachments. Attachments can change the stability of the mower, which may lead to a loss of control in certain situations. Use only Toro approved accessories and attachments and check the manual that came with the attachment for additional safety details. If the discharge deflector was removed from the deck to install an attachment, 
always reinstall the deflector when the attachment is taken off the mower. Common drop-offs include retaining walls and culverts. Without proper clearance, a wheel could slip over the edge, or the ground may give way. Stay in the safety zone and leave these areas to be hand trimmed. Never mow near water. Adjacent grass can be wet or slippery, which may cause sliding. Or the ground may be muddy and unstable, which could cause an edge to crumble or collapse. Once again, stay in the safety zone and leave these areas to be hand trimmed. It's important to remember that even when you've given yourself adequate clearance in relation to a drop-off or water hazard, you are not in the safety zone if you are on a hill that has a slope greater than 15 degrees. Hazards are often in the vicinity of one another. You need to be aware of your total surroundings. To park the mower, drive to a safe area, disengage the PTO, set the parking brake, and turn off the engine. Remember to remove the key from the ignition and never park on a hill. Use extra care when loading or unloading your Time Cutter Z onto a trailer or truck. For safety, use a single full width ramp only. The ramp angle must not exceed 15 degrees. Do not attempt to clean, unclog, or service the discharge chute or attachment unless the engine is shut off, the key is removed, and all moving parts have come to a stop. Follow these procedures and your Toro Time Cutter Z will give you years of safe performance and service.